The Gauteng Partnership Fund is involved in residential uh, accommodation. The Department of Human Settlements asked us to investigate how the GPF could play a role in the student accommodation sector or market. We went ahead and did the research, uh, approached uh, the universities based in, in Gauteng, Gauteng uh, University of Johannesburg, out in the Val, Tswane area, Wits, and then we put a paper together to, to really to show the department that uh, there was huge shortage in terms of student accommodation and the, the uh, research also coincided with the Department of Higher Education and Training's release of uh, the condition of the student accommodation within, within the universities which tied in nicely with, with our paper. Uh, that kind of gave uh, or gave, gave me to our uh, proposal that showed there was a huge shortage in terms of student accommodation with, with, within, this, within the sector. And uh, as I said, the, the department, as government, there was no intervention in, in, in student accommodation. So it was thought that best that GPF intervene on behalf of government in, in student accommodation. The fund operates as all the other products in that we are a mezzanine funder. Uh, that means we sit between equity and, and the senior funder. We will fund up to 30% of every project. Uh, total project includes acquisition, transfer, ref either refurbishments, conversions or even uh, construction. And in student accommodation we also pay for the furniture that needs to be provided to, to the students. That's a standard a one bed, a desk a cupboard and then the communal facilities in terms of the lounge. We expect a comprehensive business plan from our applicant and in that uh, business plan the, it, has to, it has to cover who the applicant is, what their track record is in terms of not only student accommodation but gen generally in, in property, uh, who the shareholders are, uh, order to financial statements of the institution and then we would want to particulars about the project, so where the project is located, who's the target sec, target market, how far is it from that target market, uh, the demand of uh, student accommodation within the area, and then we would actually physically look at the, the, the project, how many units, how many beds, who's going to do the construction, who's the professional team, what's the cost of this, how long is it going to take you, and that gets assessed against our, our internal QS will we'll look at that number and either say, yes, you can do it within, within your budget, no, we think you can't, adjust it, negotiate, and then come to a, a final figure. And then uh, once we, 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 we receive all that information, we do a desktop analysis. If the project is feasible, we, we do an expression of interest, which means that uh, we'll say to you, we'd like to offer you so much at that rate over this period, and then you consider that and say, I'm, ha I'm happy with that, it makes financial sense in terms of the model and everything else. You sign the expression of interest, return it back to us, we then appoint a third party independent due diligence uh, person to do a due diligence on the applicant and the project. When the report is received, we then prepare a motivation and submit it to our investment committee, which is a sub, uh, subcommittee of the board. And depending on the loan amount, that might have to be escalated to the board for final approval. We hope that it could be as, as, as successful as all our other uh, programs that, that, that we run. And also, as I said, it was government's intervention uh, in, uh, as in, well, anyway, in Gauteng, it's government's intervention in the student accommodation uh, sector. Um, there's no subsidies as they are for, a poor, for, for, a poor, for poorer families, uh, uh, income families in terms of residential. So there's no subsidies for, for student accommodation. Our, our discounted uh, uh, interest rates uh, is what we deem as government's uh, intervention in, in the sector. So we hope that it'll be a successful and we also hope that it'll uh, encourage more uh, projects, so more delivery of more units. We also want to bring in emerging entrepreneurs because emerging entrepreneurs is, our, is, is, is also our, our promotion of emerging entrepreneurs is part of our mandate. So it means that our equity could be used as a substitute for, for, for our mezzanine could be used as a substitute for, for, for equity. Although we, we want 
equity from, 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 from the de developer. So you can't come to the GPF and says, say, we'll use senior funding and your funding and do a project. No, it has to be senior funding, GPF, and a, a layer of equity from, from, from the applicants. And uh, we involved because, as I said, inevitably, uh, depending where your project is located, if it's within the student sort of hub, uh, it, it gets encroached by students anyway, and then we don't plan for, for, for that particular project properly. Uh, like uh, income uh, in student accommodation is only uh, looked at over 10 months, whereas in residential it's 12 months. There's different uh, maintenance sort of budgets for students as opposed to, to, to families. So there's those finer sort of uh, permutation nuances that we, we, need to, we need to make sure that we, we account for in terms of our, eva our evaluation of the project.